Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones, today is Thursday. In the third, fourth week, and last week of the year A. And today being the 26th day of November, I read this will be coming from the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 1 to 2, 21 to 23. Chapter 19, verse 1 to 3 and 5. And responsorial psalm will come from Psalm 100. And the responsorial verse will be Revelation chapter 19, verse 9. Our gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 21, verse 20 to 28. The theme of our message today is the day of vengeance. From the gospel message, Jesus is telling his disciples... When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is near. And when that day comes, those in Judea should flee to the mountains. Those inside the city should depart. And those outside the city should not enter again. For these are the days of vengeance to fulfill what was already written. You see, when we go about disobeying God and doing all what we want to do on our own, God has a day he will just remind us that we are just going against him. And we'll pay the price. So that's what you call the day of vengeance. He said, that day, women with children, or nursing children, there will be a great distress that they will regret having children. They regret even nursing children. And he said, this distress will come upon all the earth, on, the, on every person. People will be fought by the age of the sons. They will be led into captivity in our to other nations. Just Jerusalem will be trodden down by the Gentiles until the day of the Gentile is over. The Gentile world we regard it to as the pagan world, the barbarians, who don't know the truth. There will be great signs in the sun, in the moon, and the stars. There will be great distress on the nations. That people will even faint because of what is coming. I will come like a wave, like the roaring of the sea. I will tell you the type of terror people are experiencing. But the interesting thing about this is that God told these people, said, when all this thing is happening around you, remember, he said, be calm, your redemption is close at hand. Miss your redemption is close at hand. You are now being proved, you, you who is rejected by others, those who reject you now are perishing. You will not stand that like the day of the Noah. They will arrive at him, making a mockery of him, doing their own thing until he enter the ark. And it's all lamentation for them. So, if you are in God and you are in him, Lily, he said, when all these things are happening around, they come. Your redemption is drawing near. So, as all that are sorrowing, it becomes your joy. And that's why today, to show you the door of vengeance, Babylon is a great city. And the city every person look upon. And John saw a vision. He saw an angel from heaven having great authority. And the eight was made bright by his splendor. And he called out with a loud voice, saying, Falling. Foreign, Babylon, the great city, is fallen. He said, have been a dwelling place of all the demons, a haunt of every 
foul spirit, a haunt of every foul and hate birds. You see, then, in face of the crime what Babylon stands for, it becomes a center of demons and evil things. Just like Nigeria is now the center of all the demons and evil things where anything goes. That was the way of the Babylon then. Filled with crimes and devils. They say then they, one great mighty angel came with a big stone, like a millstone in her hand. And she threw it to the sea and said, that's the way Babylon will be destroyed with violence. He said the city will be found no more. He said the sound of the harpies and flute and trumpets will not be heard anymore in that city. He said all the craftsmen and all the craft work will no more be heard in the, in the town anymore. And the light will never shine again in the city no more. When all this has happened, when Babylon is destroyed, the center of evil has been destroyed. I told some angels started singing hallelujah. They started singing hallelujah. The salvation and glory of our God has come. The salvation and glory of our God has come. For he has given his judgment and his judgment is right and true. He said that joy the great harrow that corrupted the whole world, the whole nations, with his fornication, avenging on her the blood of his servants. You see, a moment of vengeance is a city that is completely evil, working against all that is good and killing the servants of God. Now, is the time of God the time of vengeance? And they are now destroyed. And the angels are now singing the glory of God. And his judgment is true and right. And judge the harrow who lead all nations, corrupt all nations through a fornication. All the people who survive all this, who persevere in face of all this corruption, and never allow themselves to be corrupted, but remain firm on the path of God, and keeping the word of God and leaving it out in face of all the evil around them. He says, such a man, the psalmist say, blessed are those invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. So, when you are busy doing all the evil things on this earth, you have all the days doing it. One day, God will visit you and will visit you with destruction. All those things you have been boasting will be a shame on you. So that's the day of vengeance. Of God's anger upon people who reject him and mock him and ridicule him, have no regard for him and never go his way. But we ask God to give us the grace to persevere by not allowing all the corrupt world around us to deceive us or mislead us, but many firm on the path of God in face of all the, all the evil around us. So that on that day, when they are being destroyed, we know our salvation is close at hand. We know our redemption is close at hand. And we know we are now invited to super to the my supper of the Lamb. We run with him, we live with him. We ask God to help us attend this at this last time through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us and we celebrate our victory in face of the anger of God against the godless, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. So you're so sure.